Did you know you can play around with Mac 6's multi-threaded audio editing options? Here's how you do it. Mac 6 has a few options for multi-threaded audio and seamless audio editing. You can access these mixer settings in Max's application preferences. Max, preferences, scroll down to the mixer. You can also access them in a panel in audio status window. And the mini mixer has a couple of them as well. The first thing I wanted to look at is the option to enable mixer parallel processing. With this set to on, each top level patcher runs its audio in a separate thread. This means that if you have a multi-core CPU in your computer, you should be able to run a lot more audio patch code on it without glitching than if you were to run audio all in the same thread. You don't get this advantage if you have everything running in the same patcher though. You have to use multiple top level patches to get the multiple audio threads. Next up is Enable Mixer Crossfade. This setting controls what happens when you edit audio code in Max 6. In Max 5, if you edit one patcher, then audio from all of your top level patches will get restarted and you'll hear a gap in the sound. In Max 6, whether this option is on or off, if you edit one patcher, then all your other patches audio will continue uninterrupted. I'll show you what this means. Here's a patch with a drone. Okay, now I've got Enable Mixer Crossfade set to off. If I start audio in all of my top level patches and edit this one, I can hear a glitch in its sound, but the sound from the drone patch is uninterrupted. If I turn this on, you won't hear the gaps so much. The DSP chain is still being rebuilt, but with mixer crossfading on, what happens is that behind the scenes, Max plays buffered patcher audio while it creates a new DSP chain, and then we crossfade over to it. This process of playing buffered patcher audio while we create a new DSP chain adds latency. You can adjust the amount of latency introduced by mixer crossfading with the mixer crossfade latency setting. Crossfade latency. Depending on how big your patcher is, or how powerful your computer is, or which audio card you're using, you might want to change this number. If you have enabled mixer crossfade set to auto, then the crossfade is set to off by default. Then when you start editing your patch, it automatically switches on. This is so you can perform live with your patch with no latency, but if you want to edit, you get smooth audio editing. If you want to go back to no patch latency after you've edited, you can just stop and start audio. It's really easy to do this in the mini mixer. When the latency is reported as zero, mixer crossfading is off. Last but not least is the Mixer Crossfade Ramp Time. Ramp Time. This setting is the time in milliseconds of the ramp between the patch's buffered audio and the newly created DSP chain. You have to keep the ramp time smaller than the crossfade latency or you'll get glitches. If I make this ramp really large, like out near 500 milliseconds, you can hear the DSP chain crossfade going in slow motion. Yeah, it's going really slowly. Happy patching.